After having breakfast, we started our journey from Shiliguri towards Darjeeling. Though I have been driving for the past 15 years, but driving on a hilly terrain, this was my very first time and I needed to have a lot of courage to do so. I never expected the drive to be so smooth and comfortable. The roads were really nice and it was very relaxing the drive. As we started to drive up the hill, the weather started to change almost every minute. This was our first encounter with the clouds. The visibility almost dropped to zero instantly. But we managed to drive through. We could feel the nip in the air. As we drove along, the temperature started to drop and it became colder by the minute. There were numerous twists and turns on our way and we were seeing cars coming from the opposite direction so we were taking it very slow and enjoying every moment of the drive amazing scenic beauty the clouds among the pine trees were looking really gorgeous We took our first break at the Margaret's deck after driving for almost two and a half hours from Siliguri. Crossing Karshiang village as we reached the Ghoom station we saw the iconic toy train. Won't you like to experience a ride on such heritage transport that once provided the first and the most important mountain transportation link in the country? Where else can you find a small steam engine pulling mini coaches up the steep mountains through breathtaking landscapes and overcoming almost impossible curves and gradients using sheer engineering, ingenuity and creative skills?
here we are finally at the queen of the hills Darjeeling It was drizzling all through and we missed the breathtaking look of the Kanchanjangas from the Batashia loop. on our way to the Happy Valley Tea Estate. And that was not all. We were passing through the borderline of Nepal, the Pashupati Market and we were headed towards the Miri Lake. On our way back to the Arjilin, suddenly it became so cloudy and foggy that the visibility dropped almost to zero. It was really impossible to drive. But whatever be, the experience was amazing. It was really adventurous and we had a lovely time. Unfortunately, due to some technical issues in my hard disk, I lost a lot of files from this trip. But somehow I managed to recover a few of them. So I'm making this video out of those only. By the way, going downhill was even more challenging than going up the hill. Initially I thought going up would be very difficult but while coming down I realized that this is even more difficult and I have to be very cautious of the turns and maintain a proper speed. This trip is indeed one of the most unforgettable one. We not only experienced enormous challenges, it was too many adventures that we overcome. Passing through this river for almost 20 minutes was also quite a thrill.
the green mountains the misty mountains the tea gardens and what not we were passing through numerous bridges we were passing through the coronation bridge and now we are heading towards another destination from the hills and now we are heading towards the Jaldapara Reserve Forest. Enjoying the serene and tranquility of the cold gushes from the Murti River in Boers. We wanted to experience the jungle in the darkness. So after sunset, we drove for a kilometer or few into the jungle, but it was really scary and we have to turn around and come back to the hotel. To me, driving in this pitch darkness was even more scarier than driving in zero visibility on the hills. came back and spent some good time playing games.
So after 9 days this epic adventure trip comes to an end we will cherish these memories throughout our life Looking forward to the next adventure post this pandemic